Hello everybody and welcome back to the Demon Show. I'm your host Demon, and once again playing uh, Ludium, Erudium, Chronicles, Rising, I don't know the name. I hear it a few times, I haven't heard it yet. Uh, last time we did a bunch of things and now we got a uh, Guru. Also broke into that one spot. Got to a fishing area, but I don't think we can fish just yet. You again? The road is still blocked, you know. Won't be for long. Garu here is gonna clear it up for us. Well, that would get rid us out of a bind for sure. You have an explorer license, Garu? Yeah. That will do. I'll just open her up. So, did you have to go around collecting, getting stamps too, then? Do I look like some kind of stamp collector? Don't have bricks for brands to waste time on that. I see. <laughs> you see what? Y you don't know? <laughs> don't think I'm the one with the bricks for brains. You forked out a hundred thousand brusca for it, didn't you? As if. I've got the magic post, don't I? Magic? So that's how you hide it, that massive sword on it. Where did you get something like that? Oh, this whole thing. Got it from old friend. Old blue furred ball. Not important. Really handy for carrying gear around, especially if you're camping. I've never heard of something like that before. Still, got a lot to learn about the world, I suppose. Let's go move on, yeah? Alright. Manly Hunter. Ventura. Damn, those monsters shoot rocks at me. If only I had a big sword enough to send them right back. I don't know, so I can use the uh, Garu to send uh, rocks back at people. That's good to know. Oh, is this a cutscene? Cutscene. Strike first, win first, magic cutie missile! What the? Who's there? Scoundrels, they have face to face with new and very own guardian peacekeeper. Guided by the runes and the holy light it is, I, Melanor, Arian, defender of love and justice. Melanor, a magical girl who has been waiting patiently for her time to make it big. As it turns out, magical, magical girls are highly sought after as adventuring partners. Huh? You go around defending love and justice, blowing holes in the wall, do ya? Wall? What are you? Oh, crap. So, yeah. What just happened? Face me. Lost like any other brat to babysit. What was that? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oi. You two alright? What happened? That one. What was that noise? This girl just appeared out of thin air and fired some magic at us. We dodged it, but it hit the wall. She what? Oh crap, there's a hole in the Burak. Burak? We have to close it up or monsters will reach the town. What a pain. Anything we can do to help? Oi, if you're feeling generous, get me out of it. We'll have to see if uh, that fiend doesn't make it to the townsfolk. Sorry to ask, but would you mind fetching materials we need to fix us? Think we could fill it up with some stone? Alright, I'll have a look around. Some scavenger you are. Don't forget why we're here. What about that Moloncus lens, eh? You happy enough just let some other jelly legged jolly get their hands on it first? No, but what about Pryra? And Yum Yum? And all the other town folks can't just let fiends run loose, can we? Ugh, fun. We'll make a brief detour. Can't carry any resources right now. What? Get some stuff. Oh, I actually have some. Well, that's lucky. We're back. I think this is everything you asked for. You're a lifesaver. Here's a stamp. Wait, when did I know his name? It was always male guardian. 
Do you really do all that work for just for a few stamps? And what if she did? Good way to protect the town and see the guards get their dinner. I've heard about the sorrow. You've heard about the sorrow, I'm sure. If something like that were to happen again, our jobs would be first on the chopping block. Sorrow? What's that? Huh? Don't know? A rune going laid waste to the town, as the story goes. Well, before us mercs got here, mind. Rune? Golem? Those things that protect the burrow rune barrels? You've seen one yourself. Never. Heard about them from my folks, though. Apparently, a bunch of townsfolks volunteered for an expedition down to the burrows a long time ago. Got attacked down there. Some of them managed to escape and rose up a search party. When they went back, though, no one else had survived. The mayor leading the whole thing himself. To this day, his is the only body unaccounted for. Mayor? So the current acting mayor is... Isha, his daughter, lost her father to the barrels she did. She's only young, but already knows what she wants. The bar rock was her idea. Few people want to go back in to find her dad, but she wouldn't have it. Prioritize the good of the town over her own family. That's one way of looking at it. Could be that she's just cold-hearted. I'm sure she... I'm sure it wasn't a choice she made lightly, mate. Yeah, forget I said that. I'll clear her off. I'm uh, going to shut the quarry for now. What? Why? Got to seal this up, don't we? You can come back tomorrow. I'm starting to think I'll never get into this place. So this is it for today, huh? First thing tomorrow morning, be ready. I'll meet you at yours. Yeah, so we learned a little bit more of about history. Stamp received. Ooh, I think I got a prize. Guru, wait. What do you mean by ready? Baby, ready. I know I look small, but these and but me and these holster axes have come a long way. We're always ready. <sighs> you ready, are, baby, aren't you? This means they can make AR weapons and are almost stronger, yeah. Can I assume you at least know that much? Your strength ain't everything, mate. A weapon shop and an armor shop would be have upgrades to make it easier to move out. With upgrades like that, you can fight better for explore further and all sorts. How much better? How much further? Better if you see for yourself, mate. I didn't see stores like that back in town, though. Oh yet, yeah, no. But I've heard plenty of folks been down in the outer lane, outlander lane, looking to set up shop. Huh? I mean. All's really as good as you say it is. Come on then. Let's go see who we can find. Alright, so we have to open a store in the Outlander. Outlander Lane. Which... I'm gonna go to residential because I think I'm still low on life. Oh no, my life got healed actually. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, it was full life, yeah. Okay, let's see what to do. Okay, so I can get some hunter suit, lumber. Oh, I can't make those, but I can make these. as much as I can. Alright. Gonna have to do that later. Oh. What do you need? Yeah there, Ventura. Your weapon's getting you in any trouble. I've got a name you know, CJ. As for weapons, I wouldn't be opposed to an upgrade if someone was kind enough to offer. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Just as I suspected, this town is dying need of a weapon shop. I'm Batar, knights of the great round and the keenest eye and weaponry in the old land. Perhaps you heard a tale of, a, of my bravery when I service in, when in service of the Margrave. Countless wars fell before my might. One such encounter with a general of a great nation was particularly unforgettable. 
uh, swords clashed endlessly, but soon his blade shattered into shards. Only a swordsman with keen eye for weaponry could have. Bertard, was it? Listen, I'm kind of in a hurry, so if there's something I can help you with. Oh, <laughs> of course. Excuse me, uh, I'm looking for the acting mayor. I need permission from her to establish my shop, that's all. Do you have any idea where I might find her? That's odd. This is usually pretty easy to spot. I'll track her down for you. Now I gotta find Isha. But is there more? Let's see. She's usually in the plaza. Let's go this way just in case the uh, move. I would know would be up here and in the other uh, area that should be. Man, this game is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to play the uh, sequel. That's supposed to be the prequel to the game that they're going to be coming out, but... Oh. Isha! Ah! Oh, it's you, CJ. You need something? Not me. There's a guy who's looking to open a weapon shop. He needs to run it by you first, apparently. Ugh, I had a feeling it was him. Okay, understand. Please tell him I'll meet him soon. Oh, and my controller just uh, died. So I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. I got my controller. I have actually spoken with him, or rather, he spoke at me. I lost half my afternoon waiting on him to get to the point. I heard he may return today to discuss opening a weapon shop, so I decided to keep myself uh, busy elsewhere. You really have to lighten up, Isha. Alright. So, we'll just fast travel back. Yeah, so the, the next game coming out isn't uh, 2D side scroll like this is. It's gonna be uh, same art style, but we'll have 3D aspect, so you'll be able to run up and down and around instead of just back and forth. And it's going to be turn-based, with six partners and a hundred companions that you can get. I found Isha and let her know you were waiting to see her. You have my thanks to think I could be uh, aided so valiantly by such a young lady. Have I told you when I was young I rescued by an elvish maiden of a rare beauty? Okay, I got lots to do, so if you don't mind stamping this card for me, I'll be on my way. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Here you are. So, in this game, um, they actually show off uh, characters that will be in the next game. Partners that you can find. Weapon Shop is preparing to open. 500 baka received. Experience. The Weapon Shop. Upgrade your weapons by making them more lightweight and easier to use. Unlock new attacks in the process. So... Yeah, let's get uh, stronger weapons. Oh, is the other guy the armor shop? And that's why I couldn't do it? No, because it wouldn't come up. Wow, you weren't kidding. I feel like you could do magic with these things now. So what then? Next then, armor, right? I wonder where the armor shop is. No, it must be easier on my wrist too. I should give them a good name. No, I can actually name them? Oh, that's interesting, actually. Oh, okay. So you pick it, and then it will show you... Ooh, God Storm. That sounds awesome. What else they got here? That's what I call a revealing Tanuki. Feels only right to give it to me a name. 
Cape heads like that. Sounds good, actually. Charge attacks. Holding attack mode will allow you to charge your power and unleash a charge attack. While powerful, you can be vulnerable to attacks while charging. Use with caution. Let's so speak to you. You, y'all say Jay the scavenger kid, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's uh, me. I'm Freda. Frida? Frida. Hoping to be an owner and operator of this town's official armor shop. Little Aisha was kind enough to let me have this place, but well, kind of a uh, fixture upper, wouldn't you say? Frida. A lovely, lively, likable, high spirit armor drawn. Armor drawn to New Narak for its potential as a vibrant new town. Luckily, the adventurers were in need of armor when she arrives. Little Esha? Well, yeah, looks like a lot of work, all right. All right. So I've been thinking about a big color change. Problem is, I'm not sure where to get my hand on paint. Yellow, pinks, you know, bright, cheerful colors. Gonna get them in the city, though. I thought I'd search the Great Forest, but no place for a lady like me. Paint? In the Great Forest? I don't know about that, but I'll have to go take a look for you. Well, there's room in there might be somewhat mysterious stash somewhere under the caves. Under the caves? Hmm. Perhaps on the other side of that giant rock, maybe? Okay, and I actually smashed through to the other rock. So, let's go. Such a beautiful, well-crafted game. All right, let's go to the fishing spot. Uh, no, not that. Uh, oh, I have to go back? Uh, well, you know, I want to check out the fishing spot. Because I didn't really spend my time here. Yeah, so I don't have a fishing rod, so I can't go fishing. But yeah, the new game is also going to be a base builder, like most of the other Surudin games that they have. That's going to be so good, I hope. Place Fenderman must be ahead. Had I already destroyed the rock. that have uh, their names pop up to tell you a little bit about them. Those are potential characters that you can uh, befriend. Uh, maybe it's this way. In uh, the next game coming out. Okay, so this is the area that I'm supposed to be. But right now I want to check Accessories. Oh, I thought I picked up an accessory. Oh, well. Is it another boss fight? There's something there. Time to clean house. Link attack recovery. After a session of Link attack, it will take some time to become available again. Listen closely to recovery alert sound. I know that. Potion, blames, and medicine provide a healing effect and the time limit buffer to the entire party. These buffers do not stack and only one can be active at a time. Probably telling you this because of a whole. That wasn't too hard actually. Paint received. I feel like I run faster as her. 
Maybe it's just me. Maybe it just feels like I'm running the same amount or less speed with uh, him. Now, I want to go check out the other path. Because in these games, you always have to go check out each and every path. Going hippy hoppy down the bony trail. No, okay, yeah, okay. So I'll take that signpost and head back to town. Man, I hope everyone's doing good. Such an adventurous game, this is. Fast travel, forest approach. And I'm also glad that, like, the low screens aren't long. Because I know there's older games that have, like, a very long loading screen. Uh, Outlander Lane. That was it, right? Okay, yeah, just one paint. I swear that someone would put paint at the uh, bottom of a cavern. You're right, there is paint. Oh, I got going on. Oh, had the on. You're right, there is paint in the bot Great Lake Forest. Seems like someone was using splashy colors to mark it or areas of the, in the cave. Woohoo! This is exactly what I wanted. We'll make a silent store in this old dump yet. Wait, do you have a stamp, don't you? Oh, I almost forgot. I ruined my hair, you are. You're right. Save. What is he sawing? There's nothing there. Like if it was moved over a bit more, it would actually look like he's sawing something. Ooh, the armor, the armor shop. Increase your freedom of movement, your defense, and the amount of action you can perform by upgrading your armor at the Verona's armor shop. Allow Garu to parry enemy attacks. Unlock two point jumps. Ah! Oh, whoa, this is so light. I could do backflips in this. Now you're ready, mate. It'd be nice if we could get some potions and stuff. Well, Tara did say there are a lot of people on the plaza who are looking to open stores. Wouldn't you know? Wouldn't you know if what they got to offer till we speak to them, I suppose. Alright, give yourself an extra boost mid-jump. Use as well to reach all kinds of previously unaccessible. Oh, here we go. Garu's unique skill. Enemy attacks can be neutralized. Use the skill of your benches in combat. Okay. Oh, I have to go to the plaza. Thank goodness for fast travel. Uh, oh. Say, you all say, Jay, aren't you? I am. Who's asking? Nava's my name, and I'll have something I need help with. I need you to go grab me some uh, breastplate beast pelts. I could do something like that, sure. What for? I'd like to make some warm clothes for the colder seasons. Might get cold down there and count the winds of the soap peak. It'd be pretty of people looking for warmer clothes for come winter, you see. Sounds important. I'm on it! Okay, well, that was, uh... Not exactly the one that I was looking for. Uh, oh, head to the indicator. Special drink. Robert in the plaza. So look for Robert in the plaza. You look like a Robert. Excuse me, miss. Can I ask you something? Huh? Me? You look a little thirsty, you see. Would you care to try a special privilege of my own creation? There's something odd about this guy. How about this? Try it once. Run, run one lap around town. I'll give you a stamp when you're back. A stamp? For that? That's mighty nice of you. Thank you of a deal. <laughs> Here, drink up. Once you're done, why don't you try running over the edge of the red dental district? 
After that, head to the Outlander Lane. See how fast you can run. Okay, sure, I'll be back. <laughs> so I think she's actually running faster than before. Which is very nice. Very nice indeed. Hippity hoppity, I'm jumping better than you, Garu. The uh, game coming out is gonna have a. Uh, uh, where are we supposed to go next? Outlander Lane. I don't know if I can just teleport to Outlander Lane from there, so I'm not going to. I don't wanna ruin it. What if the next game, uh, Hundred Heroes? Oh yeah. Erythium Chronicles uh, Hundred Heroes is gonna have a. Uh, what's it called? voice acting in it. Usually the uh, older older ones for PlayStation had it for Surikin. <laughs> Wouldn't be too bad if this game had it. Oh. Huh. Was this path always there? Is this Second Street? Better go find out. Oh. Oh. Okay. So yeah, there was like that thing in the middle there. There was like a cart pushed over. Second Street, that expansion of Outer Lane. Outlander Lane. Allocated to deal with the never ending influx of venture into the town. The apothecary and other stores can be found here, as well as a colored bunch of individuals with interesting pastimes. Oh. Wow, where did this all come from? Nice location, right? This is my apothecary. And you're my first customer. The drink was a homemade potion. So what was that about? I did feel strong after drinking it, all right. Sure, I get little funny looks as I was running, though. Of course you did. I told everyone to watch out for their favorite adventurer. Saved from the brink of exhaustion by yours truly. What? The brink of... Uh, is that why some of them were crying? Oh, poor harking... Oh, poor hard-working uh, adventurer girl. If only there was a cure for exhaustion. Well, now everyone knows there is. Mine. They'll be lining up for miles to get their hand on this stuff. Come along now, and I'll give you the stamp. How dare you! How many stamps do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stamp receipt. So I can, uh, I can get a reward because I got, well, more than ten stamps. Who did I have to talk to for that? I think it was, uh, Lizard Man. How about the Gary is preparing to open? Slime jelly received. Baraka. Five experience. Stock up on healing and banner. Four or five gleams here at the apothecary. Shopkeeper Rubot. Now, now I gotta craft the healing potion. Yes. All right, I think we're ready to go. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. It's already late. I should get some rest. The court will still be there tomorrow. Or will it? Dun dun dun. Oh, the quest cleared. Is that, uh. Oh, main quest 7. Catch that girl. Turn to your base. But you know what? I'm gonna do some other stuff. Hey there, little lady. Little lady? Well, I've been thinking about setting up a business here. Oh yeah? What kind of business? Uh, what kind? What kind? Profit kind, of course. I've heard uh, real good things about you, young lady. You got a quite a reputation around here. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I'd like you uh, to do some market research for me. Ask around and find out what people in this town need. Sure, I can do that. And what do you need? You okay there? You look lost in thought. Oh, hi. Actually, I like to open up a pawn shop here. So I went to Gokturo to ask about the procedures and, well, pawnbrokers need good taste and better ice. It's not for you, everyone. Opinions are like agendas. Everyone's got one, so appraisals are never airtight. A good pawnbroker knows how to think outside the box, not just about the trinkets inside. I can't prove it. I prove a pawn shop till I see you got what it takes to light. Keep these lights on. Bring me something worth exactly a hundred bucka and you can have your pawn shop. He said, exactly a hundred bucka? 
Yeah, exactly. That's the hardest part. Well, that and dealing with Gershar. Gershar. Say, you wouldn't mind helping me out, would you? Exactly, Hunter Bigger. Gershar is definitely up to something. Sure, I'll take a look around and see what I can find. You okay, Hogan? You look stressed. Wouldn't I tell you, CJ? You won't believe the report I just got. Someone spotted one of the church chests of the noble bandits took from me. If I could get it back, I'd have all I need to open up my shop. Treasure? Leave it to me, Hogan. You do that for me. You really get me out of bind, CJ. From what I can gather, it was in the band woods uh, somewhere. Woods got it. And is that it? That is it. All right. Oh, and I think that's it for the episode. In the next episode, we will do more uh, questing. Oh. Squawk, what are you doing here? Why, it's my accessory shop. Here I was preparing for my grand opening, when would you believe it? I realize I misplaced my appraisal spectacles. Things I'm currently wearing cannot be trusted as you gaze the glimmering of any given artifacts. Fashion over function, you see? That sounds like a real pickle. Ah, a pickle indeed. A particularly sour one at that. I cannot possibly open for business without those spectacles. I don't suppose I could trouble you to look around for them on my behalf. I'm quite sure they're somewhere around in town. Or town somewhere. Sure, leave it to me. Well, I'll just do that. Alright. So yes, in the next episode we will do a whole bunch of side quests. Oh my gosh, there's some more side quests? Say, you were just uh, setting up business venture, what would it be? I sell pickaxe, probably. The core is getting too much sense, seems like a safe bet. Pickaxe, huh? Interesting. Oh, okay, so that's one of them. So I will end the episode here. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. And, uh, oh, a lot of, um, side questing right now, because I want to get as powerful as I can. So, without further ado, I hope that you're all having a good day, and if you're not having a good day, I hope things turn around and you do, in fact, have a good day. So, until next time, bye-bye.